never knit unflattering knits again and here is how hi guys welcome or welcome back this is hey diy knitting podcast where me Heidi, does some diy mostly knitting and today we will talk about knitting a perfect sweater or how to not knit any unperfect sweaters again the first thing i need to clarify is the word unflattering or flattering in the title it might be a tiny bit of a clickbait because i generally don't believe in flattering or unflattering clothes i don't believe that you should balance your wide shoulders or your wider hips and I don't believe that you are a apple or a pear. We are human, not fruits. So I don't mean flattering by the general standards that is often used. I mean flattering in a way that you like the way it looks on you. And that is the only way flattering is used in this video it doesn't mean that you would have to hide something or it doesn't mean that you would have to change how your body looks that is not what we do in this channel um, so it is all about your comfort and what you like to wear and how you like to look so in my opinion a perfect sweater is composed of four factors and those are fit, fabric, color and style. And one of those is usually missing if you don't like to wear the sweater you have made. So let's unpack these four factors. So let's start with the fit. And the first thing I would like you to do is think that what are the clothes that you feel comfortable in what are the general shapes and how much ease do you like to have in a clothes i'm gonna use myself as an example a lot because that is all of the experience i have is myself for example i do not enjoy very tight knits i just or clothing in general. You can think of your whole wardrobe here. I don't like very tight clothes. They just don't feel comfortable and I don't feel comfortable in those. And that is the main thing. For example, this sweater, this is very much modified cumulus uh, blouse that is knit in lace weight yarn. I think this has at least mm, 10 centimeters of positive ease in the body and not so much on the sleeves, but there is still ease. And this is the kind of style I enjoy wearing. And I also enjoy the very oversized look with 20 to 30 centimeters of positive ease and that I have learned based on my wardrobe and I just know that the more fitted car garments don't get the wear they deserve. So go to your wardrobe and see what are your favorite clothes. You don't have to limit yourself to the knitted items just look at your favorite clothes how is the construction um, are they like raglans uh, drop shoulder fitted in fit in set in sleeve that is the word uh, do they have low necklines high necklines v-neck uh, crew neck what kind of uh, features do these clothes have it is also important to look at the clothes that we don't wear. So first, 
separate the things that you wear the most, the, your most favorite clothes, and see what do they have in common, and then move on to the clothes that don't get wear. What kind of things do they have in common? For example, I don't like to wear the tight ones or I don't enjoy circular yokes. I have actually unraveled every circular yoke item I have. Try to find some patterns uh, that you have in your existing wardrobe because you can learn from those and bring them to your knitting. And you can also zoom in on your favorite sweater and check what are the features in that one. For example, I have two favorites, the Louvre sweater by Petit Knit and the Guernsey Genser by Sanneskorn. And they are both very oversized knits, very relaxed. The other one has raglans and a bit higher neck and the other one has drop shoulders and textured uh, rows and they are both quite simple oversized relaxed knits. Let's move on to the next characteristic which is fabric and I think that it might be a bit unrecognized Thing that makes sweaters flop sometimes because if you use the wrong type of yarn it can make the sweater not good <laughs> I don't have the perfect adjective for that at the moment well let me explain more uh, what I mean is sometimes uh, you can achieve gauge with yarn that is not really suitable for the project. By that, I mean that maybe the fabric will be too dense. You have the gauge, but it is all very stiff and tense. And on the other hand, you can have gauge that matches the pattern, but maybe it is too loose and it will be very drapey and you know, flimsy um, when the sweater is ready. The first thing when deciding on the yarn and the fabric is probably what does the pattern recommend? So is the yarn that is used very fluffy or is it like round and very plump? Or is it maybe two ply that blooms beautifully? And that doesn't mean that you can't switch yarns, but you just need to know how these different types of yarns behave in this pattern. For example, if you have very textured knit, sometimes it is not the best idea to use two ply that blooms a lot. I have a storm sweater going on with very rustic British wool that probably will bloom. So, and I of course did not do the gauge swatch. But I will see how it turns out. Hopefully the texture doesn't just disappear. So the yarn that is recommended in the pattern or the type of yarn uh, results in the structure that is uh, designed for that pattern. And if we change the yarn to significantly different type of yarn, it can change the way the garment sits on a body. So if we have like very loose and drapey gauge a structured sweater would look very different in that kind of yarn and gauge combination but it is also about preference uh, so do you like that knits are very 
heavy and structured or do you like them to be looser and drapier and um, drape with your body or do you like them to be a bit more boxy and um, I don't know better word than heavy I don't mean heavy but you know stiffer and more structured and doesn't cling to every contour of your body so it is also about preference and pattern choice and yarn choice and the gauge you will achieve with the combination of these things but first and foremost it is about the things that you like to wear so once again go and check your favorite knits for example this one is very drapey and it flows beautifully i like that a lot so i'm more of a drapier slash flowier knit kind of a girl but i also appreciate a like structured piece occasionally but mostly the flowy ones are my favorites and next we get to color so again you have your favorite clothes maybe on your bed on your closet and you take a look at them what colors are they what are your favorites what colors make you shine those are the colors that you probably should knit more the colors you like to wear and the colors that always make you feel amazing and again we can look at the pile of knits that does not get worn as much as the others and see what types of colors are there i think it is more common than we think that when something just feels off with knitting or clothing in general it is quite often the color you know the feeling when you put something on and it just does not feel right for me it is color very often it just sucks the color <laughs> of my face and i just look tired and a bit sad so if there are colors that you recognize that you just don't feel good wearing those are probably the colors that you should avoid when you're trying to knit sweaters that are perfect or flattering because clothing cannot be flattering if you never put it on your body so pick your favorite colors the colors you wear the most and the colors that bring color and vibrancy and glow to your appearance and the last part of the making a perfect sweater is the style and oh boy i have a lot of things to say about this one <laughs> so again we come back to the assignment that look at your favorite clothes what things do they have in common and what is the general style of your clothes that you wear the most that you enjoy wearing that make you feel comfortable that are just they just are you what do they have in common do they have the similar necklines or the ease or the fit is a certain way or are they sporty or are they romantic or are they minimalistic what is the general style of your favorite clothes and then do the same for your favorite knits what is the general style of the knits you wear the most are they like petite knit a scandi chic type of sweaters or are they full of beautiful details like sorry nordland chic 
or maybe they are vintage inspired or maybe they are funky and funny and they have uh, like color blocks or flowers or what is the general style of the knits you like to wear and so that you can wear your knits they should go with your clothes unless you just wear yours to the forest and hiking then it's probably okay to knit and wear whatever you want and maybe this video was not very helpful for you but that is okay too i just like to wear my knits everywhere and every day so i'm trying to make things that i enjoy wearing in general we all have style even though you would feel like you don't have a personal style, everyone has a personal style. You have a style if you put clothes on in the morning and you buy clothes for yourself. You have a style, but you may not know what the style is yet. And that is a journey that I have been on since having my baby five years ago so it has been a long long journey but i think i'm starting to be quite close uh, in having the style that feels a lot like me and brings me a lot of joy there has been a lot of trial and error uh, with knits and with clothes and that is okay because you learn when you need something that to, you just end up not wearing and I think that is sometimes the price to pay when uh, when you are learning and trying to figure out your style and the things you like so you might think that you you are a person who likes to wear intricate cable and lace knitted cardigans and likes to wear them with skirts and jump in the field but the reality is you just like to wear minimalistic boxy knits with jeans and sneakers in the city and both of those are okay they are just very different styles and when you find yours it is easier to make intentional choices and knit pieces that work with your style and part of that is um, coming to terms with your fantasy self so the fantasy self is a concept that i have heard at least from christina muhas and she's a youtuber that does a minimalism slash style content and the fantasy self is like you are dressing for the fantasy version of yourself in your fantasy you can maybe enjoy wearing those super lacy cardigans and um, super long dresses with flowers but in your real everyday life you maybe don't enjoy those or they just are not practical. So there is a disconnect between your fantasy self style and lifestyle. If you need the pieces for the fantasy self, there's a high chance that you're not gonna wear them for your real life. So I'll give an example. I always think that I am this girl who will wear all these uh, like lacy cutesy details but they just feel wrong when i put them on and most of the time they are not practical in where i live same with very long skirts especially during winter they just go straight to the slush they are part of my fantasy self and usually there are these ideas that go with the fantasy self. So maybe you have seen like these happy people jumping on the field 
in their lace cardigans and long dresses and it reminds of freedom or it just looks like there is happiness or something that draws you into that and the pieces can be beautiful but if they don't go with your lifestyle or your personal style they just are going to go unworn most of the time i would have so much to say about personal style and knitting styles so if you would like to have a video about that please leave a comment down below. So the idea of this video was to make you ponder things again and think about the different factors of your knitting and of your wardrobe and maybe understand the factors that make the sweaters the way you like to wear them and also understand why sometimes the sweaters just don't look the way you want or you end up not wearing them and these are at least the four things that came into my mind because these four factors are at least for me the things that make me not want to wear a sweater so the main takeaway of this video was to go to your closet and see what you like what you don't like what are your favorites what are the things you don't wear and try to replicate the things you already love and wear in your knitting maybe have a uh, wondering pondering ses session about your personal style what are the things you like and wear and what are the things that you like, but only for your fantasy self, that you actually don't even wear? Only in your imagination, you vision that these would be lovely, but when you put them on, they are not the way you intended them to be. If you have some thoughts or ideas, please leave them down below. I would love to have your feedback. And remember to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye!